kidding me? Yeah, buddy, you're out. Really? Am I out? Is that your mom in the stands? Because she looks real familiar because I was out with your mom last night. You're trash. Why don't you carry that jug of water for your team? Because that's all you're ever going to be. You're just, like, you're just playing. Braxton Comer or Comer if you're using Spanish vowels. Who is he? Braxton is a bit of a TikTok sensation. And it's funny, I've never heard of him until now, and that's my whole thing. I, I make TikTok videos, and I'm a teacher, which he is one too. It, it seems like he's an Indianian middle school teacher based on the content that he makes. He's newly married. Congrats, Braxton. If you ever see this video, I sincerely wish the best for you guys. And I hope you had a wonderful ceremony and nothing went wrong. Last of all, he is a POV expert. As you can tell by the amount of following that he has and the constant great videos that he puts out. Let's watch a few. I got 50,000 on my neck, 30,000 in my mouth. Dude, they are real. It's not a gum wrapper. They do smell like mint, but they're mint colored grills. You don't understand. I'll, I'll box you right now. I'll box you. I win in every fight. The last one was a lucky shot. He barely won. She knows, don't you? They are real. Braxton makes POV videos. If you don't know what those are, those are point of view videos where you're taking the perspective of some stereotype or some situation and you make a video around that. You make a whole story about it. It's a trend on TikTok and Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. But aside from that, Braxton is pretty unproblematic. For a teacher making content online, there are certain do's and don'ts, some taboo things to avoid, and things that make me feel very, very uncomfy. He doesn't film any of his students. That's a good thing. We like that. For the most part, I think his videos are uh, appropriate. They're good. Um, he takes off his shirt for some of them, but it's not like a thirst trap. There are teachers that do that. And that makes me feel uncomfy. But not as much as the teachers who film their students. You shouldn't film your students. I will stand by that until the day that I die. He puts out some young life leader energy. And as a former young life leader, um, I vibe with that. I think, I think that that can be good in some spaces, especially as a teacher at times. But why is Braxton Comer in hot water? Well, I'm here to talk to you guys all about it. But first, let's let him explain it in his own video. So uh, I'm on my honeymoon and I have a sub that's subbing for my classes while I'm away and uh, dude will not stop emailing me. Okay, the, the, the kids are on their desk, they're dancing around, they're on their phones the entire time, they're like chiefing in the back. Quit being a narc, okay? I'm not there, I don't care. You can take care of it yourself. Tyreek, you're in charge if you see this. Get that narc out of there. Dude's so annoying. Just let them be, okay? I'll take care of it when I get back. God, Tyreek. Just get him out. My students are in charge. Much love. I'll see you guys soon, though. Yikes. <laughs> substitutes, am I right? I'm just kidding. We love our substitutes. If, if you're a substitute out there, thank you for the work that you do. You're great. I would never, I would never say anything like this about a sub. Never. He shouldn't have said that. Bad move. Not a good thing. Shouldn't have kept it up. But when you're getting 19 million views, it's hard not to keep up a video like that. But he didn't stop there. He made a couple of follow-up videos to explain the aftermath of what happened, if you will. So uh, a lot of you guys saw my video from yesterday about the guy who's subbing from my classes while I'm away on my honeymoon and how he's being a little tattletale narc saying, oh, your students won't take their headphones out. They just want to listen to music and watch movies and they're dancing around making TikToks and cheaping in the back of class. Well, he sent me another email. Yeah. Saying, yeah, your students showed me your video from yesterday, and uh, if that's how you feel, then I'm never going to sub here again. And you want to put Tyreek in charge? Yeah, go for it. He's the ringleader of all the problems. Yeah, I want to put Tyreek in charge. He's not a little narc like you. You're ruining my honeymoon, you little tattletale. I said I would take care of it. And you know what? Tyreek emailed me and said, hey, now that I'm in charge, everything's going super smooth. Tyreek, you're the man. And if you didn't see Tyreek's video, it's pretty funny. Tyreek, you're the man. Take care of business for me. I'll be there soon. I love you guys. Not that little sub, you little narc. So, um, my student Tyreek, that I put in charge of my classes while I'm away, because the sub is just an annoying narc who has caused nothing but problems. Tyreek got suspended today, and I'm livid. Evidently, when I told Tyreek to get the sub out of there, he thought the best way to do that would be to steal his Jeep keys and go to Wendy's during lunch. And he almost accomplished it. 
But he killed the transmission about halfway there because he doesn't know how to drive a stick. He's a kid. He doesn't know how to drive a stick. And now my mission is to get him unsuspended because I, I have to take partial blame here. Even though I didn't say steal a Jeep. Oh, this is just like too much. Tyreek's parents, I'm sure you're watching this and you... I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him back in school. I I have like multiple meetings I have to go to. I'm gonna get Tyreek back. But what was he thinking? Oh my! So I'm back from my honeymoon, and Indiana still sucks as much as it did whenever I left. And I have 56 unread emails that I have to look at. So uh, I got some from the school, from the sub that was an absolute moron, from my students and from the parents. So here's some of them. Here's one from one of my students. Uh, Mr. Comer, please come back. I'm begging you. This sub sucks. I cannot stand him. He won't let us listen to our music while we're working like you let us. He doesn't play any movies while we're working. He's absolutely terrible and keeps telling the principal on us for everything we do. Yeah, he's absolutely garbage. Uh, here's one from the parents. Mr. Comer, hope you're enjoying your honeymoon and your time away. We are getting a lot of messages from our kids regarding the substitute and how he's treating them poorly. Can't wait for you to get back. Hope all is well. Very nice. Most parents hate my guts. Here's one from the school. Mr. Comer, hope all is well and the honeymoon is going great. We'll need to set up a few meetings whenever you get back regarding the sub and your videos on your TikTok account. Also, regarding Tyreek that you put in charge. He's not suspended and we need to look into what we can do next for him. Tyreek's my boy. Get him back into school. Anyways, here's one from the sub. That absolute moron. Mr. Comer, hope everything is going great on your honeymoon. I'm sorry to tell you, but the students are miserable and I can no longer do this for you. Uh, the students do not know how to listen. They keep putting their headphones in. They're running around uh, in the classroom. Whenever I tell them to sit down, they're making videos and they're smoking Juul in the class. He spelled Juul wrong. You're a moron. You're absolutely terrible and you ruined so much of my life. <sighs> please never come back and please never message me again. You don't have to because you're not coming back. Ugh. That's an update. I need to go on another honeymoon. Say hi. Can we get your purring in the microphone? So the follow-up videos did not make him look great. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's much that I need to explain about what happened, but just to inform you that it did happen. Back to back to back, this guy is not making him look very good. I, I get that he's trying to provide justice for his students, which I think that his students should get justice. Uh, let's watch what he says in this next What's one. What's good, everybody? Uh um, Braxton, you're making a TikTok while driving. Uh, so Not today good. was going to be my first day uh, back at the school teaching since I got back from my honeymoon. And uh, I got there at 6 a.m. I was getting ready, prepping for the first class of the day, and I got called into the office. And they uh, say, uh, hey, Braxton, it's good to have you back. Um, hope the honeymoon went great. We're happy for you. But, um... We're not sure if we want to have you back yet. Um, we've been in talks about helping you maybe look for a different school to teach at after what happened on your uh, TikTok videos while you were away. So they sent me home. So I got Chipotle. Uh, and now it's snowing. So Indiana sucks. I'm about to smash some Chipotle. And uh, I need a new school to teach at. Maybe I just need to get out of Indiana because it's horrible and I can't find a school to stay at. Sorry, I don't want my students being told on 24-7. That's, that's a lame and annoying. All right, love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah. Do you deserve to be fired over this? This school is right. Yeah, if this, if this situation is real, then I think the school took the appropriate action. Um, but here's what I think. I think that Braxton Comer... He pulled a fast one on all of us, and he's doing a whole new kind of POV. POV, what if your teacher did something not good? In which case, I think he did a pretty good job. I mean, look at all the views that he's gotten. If it's real, the fault is totally on him. But if, if it's not real, good job, Braxton. Um, I applaud you. That was a uh, that was a grand POV, probably the best POV on the internet. Well, that's all I have to say for it. What do you guys think about this video? If you want to follow me and all the videos that I make, you can see me on TikTok or um, I post videos on here too. I'm currently in a Pokemon competitive league, so make sure to be in my lives for that. I'll see you guys in the next one.